Hi, I'm Sean. I'm a demonstrator here in the Print Media Center Atlanta. And today, we wanted to talk to you about a common occurrence that happens in a print shop, especially when we're printing on a substrate like this. If you look at this sheet here, you can actually see images that step and repeat from the gripper towards the tail. And each one of these images have a different issue. In the image to the left, you can see that there's um, a different color, color variation of the jacket, even though it's the same image. In the middle, you can see that there's knocked out text that kind of fills in as we go towards the tail. And then we have some detail over here on the right that isn't quite as clear. It's a little bit fuzzy towards the tail. Now, this is due to misregistration and that's a common occurrence in the printing process where you have a substrate that during the normal course of printing um, stretches or fans out towards the tail. Typically a press operator would compensate or try to correct this through um, mechanical or manual intervention either distorting the plates from the press console itself if it's equipped with that or some type of mechanical adjustment on the press. So this leads to a very lengthy make-ready process, also leads to a lot of waste as far as make-ready sheets go. So we want to eliminate that, and the whole push-to-stop uh, philosophy that we have incorporated here with Pernect and Heidelberg is that we want to eliminate that, and we want to have uh, perfect registration from the start when you hang the plates. What we're going to do is introduce you to our Pernect Automatic Paper Stretch Compensation function of Production Manager. Okay. And think of it as applying a curve to your plates. You do that to kind of linearize or calibrate. We're doing something very similar. And we're going to build a record, and then that record gets applied to the job upon output to plating. What we do first is we print a very low coverage of the four colors, your process colors, on a specific substrate. Now, what you want to do here is you want to build a record for every substrate that you might run within your facility, within your print shop. Therefore, you have a record of it. But once that light coverage is printed, we print a heavy coverage. Now, we're talking about maybe 10% of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black on the light coverage, and then maybe 70% build on the heavy coverage. Now that's going to give us a good representation of how the sheet distorts with that type of coverage. Now on the sheet we've got marks. And these marks are at nine different points on the sheet. And we record the deviation through our microscope. It gets fed into our automatic paper stretch compensation uh, software. We use that as a record. And then upon output of a new job, that distortion or misregistration is forecasted based off of the area coverage at those nine points on the sheet. Now, I'll run through just a quick recording of the nine points of different marks on the sheet, and you can see exactly how that's done. You can see now that the interface is ready to be recorded. We're gonna start from the upper left, work our way across to the right, and then do the same thing as we repeat. You can actually see that when I hover the microscope over the mark, it takes a picture, basically shows you that deviation. So you can see here now on that mark, you had the little crosshairs, and that showed exactly how far the three cyan, magenta, and yellow deviate from the black. So you want to make sure that you capture the, the characteristics of the print run. So if you typically run a four over four, first four units, last four units, you want to capture those. Once these records, or once we've captured the measurements, we're going to then combine those. So the light coverage and the heavy coverage records that we've captured or measurement data need to be combined so that we have that data record created. You can actually see that there was a delta difference in the measured value of uh, 47 and 25. That means that we didn't have very good registration basically on this. If we take a look at the green here, I can show you there's the deviation. And if we actually look at a different view, you can see if we zoom in real close, the different crosshairs if it was perfect registration, would be in the center of these targets, and they're not. So you'll see now with the light coverage, how they get a little bit closer. So there's less misregistration on a light coverage sheet 
and more misregistration on a heavy coverage sheet. So we're gonna build this record so that the system knows the deviation and then when new jobs get applied to the output, that characteristic curve gets applied. So a couple clicks of the button and the record will be built. With the record built, you'll now be able to see if we do what the measured values were and then the comparison, see the yellow dot? That yellow dot is what the new registration will be. The system knows how much misregistration there was, knows how much to compensate, therefore on a new job, the compensation will be perfect. So let's take a look now at the result. The calibration record gets applied to the sheet as its output or the individual separations as its output and the result is in the printed sheet. We can see here now we've got the old sheet where we did not have automatic paper stretch compensation applied. The new sheet where we do have paper stretch compensation applied automatically forecasted and output with say with the automatic paper stretch registration curve applied, you can see now how the color uh, is the same in the step and repeats, and then the knockouts, as well as the details in the other side of the sheet. Thanks for watching, and for more information, contact us at info at heidelberg.com.